Hello and welcome to Do It Like a Dancer. A lot of my most popular videos in the last few months have been about the Limon technique, but I realized that a lot of you might not know what that is, so I'm just doing a really quick video to let you know a little bit more about what we call the Limon technique. The Limon technique is named after a person, Jose Limon. He was a dancer choreographer around the 40s, 50s, this type. Um, his main influence was Doris Humphrey, who was a contemporary of Martha Graham. Uh, Martha Graham, as you know, being the mother of modern dance. Doris Humphrey was more influenced by Isadora Duncan, um, and she worked a lot with uh, Charles Weinman. And basically, um, they were also heavily influenced by Eastern styles, uh, which was a big fad at the time. But anyway, uh, Jose Lamon danced for Broadway, he danced for balancing, he was one of the top dancers of his time, but he also created what we call the Limon Technique. Um, the Limon Technique is very, very simple. At the base, what it is, is about managing the weight. It's essentially about finding the natural rhythm of the body between weight and weightlessness, between the fall and the recovery. So. You'll notice any of the, um, you, you'll notice in my videos, the Limon technique, there's this constant swinging, there's this bounce, there's this feeling of. And also, speaking of this, the breath was hugely important in the Limon technique because it's part of that natural rhythm. And really, that's it. So, Limon technique is all about just finding the rhythms of the body in the swings and the, the kind of natural place in the gravity where your body achieves weightlessness, this moment of suspension, and then falls back down to earth. So it's quite um, physical in the sense that it's uh, related to physics. Maybe this is why I like it so much. Um, but it's just, it's fun to do when you really get the hang of it and you start to be able to feel that rhythm um, it's really fun, it's really exciting, and you can do really interesting things with it. You can do a lot of falls all the way down the, um, what I call the Sisyphus roll, which you can find a tutorial for right now, um, is based entirely on the Mon technique principles, and it's uh, a very, very powerful thing to add into your choreographies. And that's really all. Uh, I'm going to show you here at the end of the video uh, a very a uh, short Limon Technique uh, combination. If you'd like me to break this down in a future video, I'm sure I will anyway, but, uh, and I'll put it with music, but this is to just give you a, a sense of what I've been talking about in this video, so you can see the kind of natural swings, the way I'm using the arms, the body, the torso, it's just kind of following the natural rhythm of the body, and I'm not using any music, so there's nothing enforcing the rhythm on me. I'm just following the natural weight of the body as it goes. And that's all. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have requests for other things that you would like to know about, or maybe other techniques that would you like to explain, uh, let me know and I'll try to get to it. In the meantime, a huge shout out to my Patreons. As always, you guys just rock my world. If you'd like to know more, Patreon is where I share all of my behind the scenes messiness, the creative process, early access, all this kind of stuff. So check the link in the description of this video to find out more. Hopefully I will be back to updating. There's been a lot of life going on. In the meantime, you can always check out my creative work on my creative YouTube channel or on my website, JillianRoads.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.